Did you know that over 100 reported sightings of Mothman have taken place in West Virginia since the 1960s? That's right. This creature has been haunting the skies and people's imaginations for decades, and today we're diving deep into the mystery behind these chilling encounters. So, what's the deal with Mothman? For those who aren't familiar, Mothman is a legendary creature that first emerged in the small town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. With its glowing red eyes and massive wingspan, it's become a significant part of local folklore. Today we're going to explore the sightings, the stories, and the eerie legacy of Mothman in West Virginia. Get ready, because it's about to get creepy. Let's talk about the skepticism surrounding Mothman sightings. Many dismiss these accounts as folklore or hoaxes. It's hard to separate fact from fiction. Skeptics argue sightings could be misidentified animals. How do we sift through these reports and find the truth? That's the challenge we face with Mothman. Let's take a closer look at some specific sighting accounts. In November 1966, two couples saw a large winged creature with glowing red eyes near a TNT area outside Point Pleasant. This sighting sparked a wave of media coverage, fueling widespread fear and fascination. More people started coming forward with their own experiences. Newell Partridge claimed Mothman was responsible for his dog's disappearance. These reports culminated in the tragic collapse of the Silver Bridge in December 1967. Mothman sightings have since inspired festivals, movies, and even a statue in Point Pleasant. The stories have evolved, but the intrigue remains. Mothman isn't the only cryptid to capture the public's imagination. Comparing Mothman to the Jersey Devil of New Jersey or the Owlman of Cornwall, we see a pattern. These creatures are linked to specific regions and periods of fear, blending real environmental factors with folklore. They reflect the anxieties and cultural identities of their regions. Just when you thought the legend of Mothman was fading, a recent sighting in 2021 reignited the conversation. A group of friends hiking in the area reported seeing a large shadowy figure take flight into the night sky. They described it as having massive wings and glowing eyes, just like the original accounts from the 60s. This sighting prompted a flurry of excitement and curiosity, leading to renewed investigations and discussions among cryptid enthusiasts. Is Mothman still lurking in the shadows? or is it merely a figment of our collective imagination? In conclusion, Mothman remains a fascinating part of West Virginia's folklore, a creature that brings together elements of mystery, fear, and curiosity. The sightings, whether real or imagined, have left a significant mark on local culture. Whether you believe in Mothman or not, there's no denying the allure of the unknown and the stories that keep people talking about this enigmatic being. So, what do you think? Do you believe in Mothman, or do you think it's all just a myth? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're interested in more spine-chilling stories about cryptids and local legends, make sure to check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay curious.